Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about training to win. Our focal passage is going to come from Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 18, which says, And they said, Let us rise up and build, so they strengthened their hands for the good work. Thirty years after Mark Spitz shocked the sports world by winning seven gold medals in the single Olympic Games, a young swimmer named Michael Phelps set his sights on winning eight. Phelps had the perfect bill for swimming. But physique alone was not, did not, would not enable him to defeat the world's elite swimmers. So Phelps focused on the incredibly rigorous training regimen. Six days a week he swam 8.5 miles a day, doing intervals at a brisk tempo and very short breaks in between, thereby extending his aerobic, aerobic range to handle more distance and speed without going into oxygen debt. The training enabled Phelps to tap fewer lactic acids, producing greater anaerobic anaerobic energy reserves than the competitors did. Phelps won six gold medals and two bronze medals in the 2004 games and then eight gold medals in the 2008 games. When Nehemiah traveled from Babylon to Jerusalem, he found a city that was still in ruins 150 years after being conquered by the Chaldeans. The wall around the city was broken down and the gates had been burned to the ground. And the people of Jerusalem suffered dearish by those who had lived nearby and no wall to protect them. The city was under constant threat of attack. So Nehemiah had a simple solution. Come and let's build the wall of Jerusalem, he said in verse 17. Rebuilding a wall that had been in ruins for 150 years was an enormous task. But God had charged the people of Jerusalem with doing so. So they agreed. And then they strengthened their hands for the good work. In other words, they went into training. Once they were trained and ready, they began to work around the clock. Fifty-two days later, they were done. When God gives you a task, especially a tough one, He expects us to train for it and to train in the right way. After all, you're not going for gold medals in the Olympics. You're going for something much more valuable. So let's look at this passage in context. Nehemiah chapter 2 verses 12 or 13 through 15 and then 17 and 18. I went out by night to the valley of the gate of the dragon uh, spring and to the dung gate and I inspected the walls of Jerusalem that were broken down and the gates had been destroyed completely by fire. Then I went to the fountain gate and to the king's pool and they had no room for an animal but was under me to pass. Then I went up to the by night to the valley and inspected the wall and then turned back and entered the valley gate and so returned. Then I said to them, you, shall, you see the trouble we are in, how Jerusalem lies in ruins with its gates burned. Come and let us build the wall of Jerusalem and we no longer suffer derision. And I told them to of the hand of, the, of my God and that have been upon me for good and also the word of the king had spoken to me. And they said, let us rise up and build so they strengthened their hands for the good work. So let's look at a related passage over in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 24 through 27. Do you know that in a race all the runners run but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. Try to do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself may be disqualified. 
So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. For what task have you undertaken ex extensive and excessive training? What was it like? Was it worth it? Do you gravitate towards things of which, for which you have experience or do you welcome the challenge of learning something new? Why? What task does God have for you in the near future that may require some training? How do you feel about these tasks? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, if we want to earn something worth more than a gold medal, then we have to train more diligently than an Olympic athlete. Help us to do this, and we know that you will. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys. I'll see you next time.